Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Elizabeth with Forest and Fay. If you are here for the first time, welcome. If you have come back, a return visitor, thank you for watching. It is a beautiful, very warm Thursday in November here in East Tennessee. I've got some errands I've got to run. I'm actually going to pop in here to Panera and grab one of the charged lemonades. It's my, one of my guilty vice because they are so caffeinated, but I love them so much. They have a blood orange zero sugar that I like, and I get a little splash of the strawberry mint just to give myself a little something. I've got a return I have to make. There is a carm really close to there that is across town, and I'm gonna take you with me, so let's go thrifting. Okay, so Christmas is in full swing, obviously, at Carm, and all of the end caps are full of Christmas stuff. This little Santa votive cup holder was the first thing to catch my attention. He was cute. I liked his little gloves, but I felt like he was maybe not quite what I was wanting for $5.99. Here's a little generic village piece. It is vintage, but nothing of note. I'm noticing a vintage Christmas platter underneath, and I pull it out. I do like the design of it but $12.99 was just way too high, especially since there weren't any special markings and the content was just kind of plain. This little Santa was cute with his ax. Lots of tiny little things that I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. The top shelf had some snowmen, village pieces, Here's a little snowman mug. This was a, a little Inesco candle warmer, $5.99. Now we're on the dish aisle. I do like the pricing structure for Carm that they put all of the dish sets together and price them as one. And so you can, you can get some good deals that way. Here was a set, I like the design. Tracy was the brand name. I've seen that a few times before, but the set itself was heavy and they also had it marked for $79.99, which was just way too high, in my opinion anyway. I'm scanning to see what else we can see. These yellow plates on the end catch my attention because I've never seen a yellow clear glass like this before and the etching around the edges made me want to put it right in the cart and run comps and see what more information I could find on those and for four for $2.99 you just can't beat it here's some nautical plates with a little canister in the back they were $19.98 left in and the plates were priced individually for $4.99. There was some damage on the canister itself, so that's why I ended up passing on those. Interesting plate set. 222 Fifth. That is a brand I've seen a little bit of before. Here I'm seeing a Fire King blue milk glass dish. If there had been more than one of these, I would have picked those up. And here's some Melamine or Melamine small saucer set, $7.99 for six. So I stick those in the cart. I'm gonna run a comp on those. They do seem to be in good condition. We're seeing what else we can find. These plates and bowl catch my attention. I like the design of them, the teal design. It's kind of embossed on the plate itself. Elite is not a brand I have come across much of, but $16.99 for the set. It's funny what you can find when you look back at this footage. 
Here I'm seeing a Pier 1 set, two plates and a platter, and it does have the name of the pattern on the back. So I take the chance to look that pattern up on eBay, and we're going to run comps and see what they go for. I do typically only run comps on Etsy, on eBay, excuse me, even though I also sell on Etsy, because Etsy you can't really easily run comps like you can on eBay, and items typically go for a little bit more on Etsy, so I like to have a base level of what an item is going to go for. Here I'm looking at how many uh, listings there are, and now I'm at the solds to see what the sell-through rate is. You've got some sets of four going for $44, $54.99, individual plates going for $12, anywhere from $15 to $12 to $15. There aren't very many platters, but I do see one sold on that for $40. So even if the plates just went for $12 a piece, you're looking at $9.99 and you're turning that into $65. And here we are on the glass aisle. I'm spotting these Corel, the vintage glasses. Fruit 2 is the name. New in box, or new old stock, however you want to say it. The set of four is $5.99. I haven't sold a ton of Corel, but I am going to stick these in the cart and run some comps on them. What else do we see? Interesting. Cut glass, press glass. Not 100% sure on that. Looks like some sort of an espresso set. But it had a Amazon style Chinese fulfillment sticker on the top. Last week, I did manage to pick up a couple of rocks glasses that I sold this week, all three of them. I think I purchased them for $7.99 for the set. I managed to get four, but one of them, when I was checking out, I realized had damage. So they were marked $11.99, and the manager was able to give me a discount for $7.99, and I flipped those. I think I sold one for $29, and the other two I took a best offer on for the set for $30. I'm not sure on this Walt Disney World glass. Since there's only one, I just leave it behind instead of doing any more research on it. These, I think, might be yogurt parfait glasses. That was my best guess on that. I'm noticing a set of what looks to be Army Airborne Old Fashioned Rocks glasses, and then a separate one that has a fender pick that has been molded into the side of the glass with the word Nash on it. So that little set was a set of two. And then, so the set of two was $3.99. And then the standalone Fender Pick glass, I think was $3.99 but I stuck it in the cart as well to run comps on it. I do well with old-fashioned rocks glasses if I can find more than one. Ring-necked pheasant. I just recently sold a pheasant-themed uh, set of plates, and so these I feel like are worth at least comping. For the price, so I stick those in the cart. Here is some Dixon's brand 
Christmas dip and chip dish. This was a Vera Wang Waterford set. And I had seen it a few weeks ago and run comps on it. But they wanted $40 for it. So I passed on that. Here's some recycled glass. There was two glasses there, but it said it was a set of three, and I couldn't find the third one. But then a couple came in behind me, and they found the other glass on the other side of the aisle, and they picked those up. They were very excited about it, so I was happy for them. We've moved on to the art section, and I have found this really beautiful Picasso print. It's vintage. And the frame on it is just very beautiful, very unique. I love the tweed look that it matches the actual print itself. And the price on it was only $7.99. So I stuck that right in the cart. I've sold quite a few vintage prints like that in the past. So I'm excited about that piece. We are seeing something else hanging that has our attention as well. It is like a lithograph or embossed print. It is signed and so it, it has enough of my attention that I'm going to try to take it off the shelf. Okay, so I did manage to try and run some comps on it. I couldn't find anything to match the actual image, but it is vintage. It's of the Oxford Tower, and it's $7.99. So I really liked the look of it. I liked the content, so I stuck it in the cart. I'm going to take that. Here I'm trying to see the artist's name on that print. This Southwestern Aztec Native American print I thought was really neat I liked the matting of it and the overall content but it was just too big and the frame wasn't very good quality and I wasn't a hundred percent sure on taking it out of the frame to just sell the print itself so I left it I am pretty impressed with the amount of artwork today that I'm seeing there's something back here it's a piece of needlework that is interesting. I think it might work for like a man cave or hunting cabin or country rustic decor, but for $12.99, something about it just wasn't really popping for me, so I left it. Sylvia Edwards. This was a Noah's Ark print. And I thought for a children's room that could be really cool, but the size of it and the price was $29.99. So here I'm looking at frames. I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for frames. I've done really, really well in the past with frames. There's a car frame. I don't think I've ever sold a car frame, but I do end up comping that. And actually I forget to go back to it. There's a really cool kind of decoupage old world map on a piece of wood plank. Um, I can't tell the price on that, but I think it was $19.99. I'm moving all of these pieces because I'm trying to get to a map that is framed on the wall, if you can see it. I'm on the hunt for um, a world map to go on the wall of my kid's playroom. I had one, it was paper, and it would never ever stay on the wall. And in a playroom, you really have to have something that's going to stick. This was just a North America framed map. If it had been one of the world, I would have taken it for $17.99. I felt like that was a pretty good price for something for personal use. There is an interesting silhouette style piece. Uh, it looks like the Madonna and the Christ Child. A Hobby Lobby frame. 
This area in CARM is generally hit or miss for me, but today I've really lucked up. I've been very impressed with the pricing that I've been able to find, and I don't know if it's just this location or this time of year here. Maybe they have an overflow of artwork, and so they're pricing low. Typically, if something's vintage, they overprice things, but here I'm finding some... Again, some vintage prints. It looks like it is a lithograph of some sort. It's vintage framed, $9.99 a piece. And I think it's from the same set or from the same donor who donated the other two pieces that are in my cart. But I really like the look of both of those. I like the mat on them. Again, that tweed style frame just a really cool mid-century kind of vibe um, and so I put those in the cart to run comps and that mirror was cute it's a Hobby Lobby piece there's the Lord's Prayer I think but they wanted something like $29.99 for that print so it was just kind of all over the place this vintage, also another vintage piece. I'm trying to get it out the best I can without hurting anything. Okay, so I'm flipping this around. The price on it's $3.99. I'm on the fence. It is signed, and it's a cat. It has a little inchworm on a blade of grass. So I put it in the cart to give it thought, but I do end up putting that one back. Here we are now in a different section of hard goods. This was a set of vintage from the 90s little notepad sets for the desk, like little memo sets, and they each had a different theme. And I don't know. I don't know why I didn't end up putting those in the cart and running comps on them because that one, especially that one and the golf one, I thought were really cute. But I think the price on them was just a little too high for what I felt like I could possibly get for a notepad set. Here is a bag of vintage ornaments. I'm checking inside to see what the contents would be. And... I'm just not interested. Here's some porcelain cats. They didn't have any markings on the bottom or anything of note. Here was a Namaji pottery piece. I have a few of these already in my store and they have not moved. And it might be just that mine maybe don't have the signature on the bottom or their price too high, but I've just not had any luck selling that. But I do put it in the in the cart to run comps on it. Here is a huge conch shell that has been turned into what looks like a piggy bank. There's some damage on the shell itself. Uh, I'm trying to find the price. $10.99. I didn't really feel like shipping something that weight and just the fragility of it. So I put it behind. I put it back, excuse me. Here's a little dog. There's an owl trinket dish. I don't know if I ended up picking that up or not. A lot of stuff on the shelves. Just trying to take it all in. Here's some, it's like a milk jug measuring cup set. I thought that was cute, but I think it said Walmart. Here was some canister style candles for $4.99. I was smelling those just to see if they were worth taking home for my own personal use and I wasn't into the smell. Here were some cute dishes. I thought they might be Limoges but they weren't. They weren't of anything of note for $4.99 so I leave them behind. Here 
Here is a Pioneer Woman set. Looks like it might be a napkin holder. I did find some dishes here of Pioneer Woman the other day, a couple weeks ago when I was in this store. And they comped really well. I think it was a set of five. And I got home and was busy trying to get all my inventory out of the car. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but I ended up dropping the bag and breaking like three of the dishes. So I was really thrilled about that. Here are some, it looks like crystal glass candle votive holders. And the stamps on the bottom say Italy. I thought that was interesting. In CARM, you just kind of go from one color to the next. So you transition from like the white section to the brown and wood aisle. Here is a wood cactus statue. That could have worked, but I didn't like the price on it. This says antique oriental vase. I could not figure out what it was made of. If you'll see the price tag on those, Carm does this for items that it feels like should bring more money. It'll do a transitional pricing, so they'll list it for a certain price on a date and then gradually mark it down if it's not sold by that next date. And so they have three or four different markdown tiers on the price tag. That one I think started at $49.99 and eventually by December it'll come down to $24.99 or something like that. I thought that was a cute basket. I have one of those as like a catch-all for my husband's nightstand, and I was looking at picking that up for myself. I did leave it, but I probably should have gotten it. If that bookend with the lion and the books had a second pair, I would probably have taken it. Here it looks like a wise man from a nativity set. And there is a lot of, I don't know, are those beagles? Someone has donated their life's collection of beagle dogs. Here's some even smaller beagle dogs. None of them really stood out to me. I have picked up a few little figurines like that in the last couple weeks that really just were so unique and cute. I had to have them, but none of those really did it for me. Here is an ashtray. It's very heavy, has some etching on it, and I thought it was interesting. I liked it, but for $14.99, I just, there wasn't enough there for me. This little lassie collie dog was cute, but it did have damage on the bottom, so I put it back. This end cap here, once again, has a lot of vintage Christmas, so I'm kind of taking my time opening boxes, trying to figure out if any of these ornaments are worth anything. They have bags of ornaments down here marked for cheaper prices, so I do check out each of these bags and see about the contents. Here was some vintage yarn ornaments. Nothing really stood out to me, but if you ever notice that I passed something up and I shouldn't have, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section because I'm always open to learning. I know very little about so little thing. <laughs> this was Dumbo and Dumbo's mother ornament. 
I left it behind. I think it was priced eight ninety nine. I didn't even comp that. Here's some more ornaments. Moving on, here are some, I thought they were very interesting, Merry Christmas votive candle holders or pillar handle, pillar candle holders. Here's a ceramic duck, looks like maybe a hobby piece painted, $12.99. Johnson Brothers, $12.99 for that picture. I'm noticing this brass candlestick. I would have probably picked that up if there was a set of them. I've done well with brass candlesticks in the past. I currently think I have a few sets of candelabras in my store. Here's like a, a very heavy brass tray, $7.99, but it had a J initial on it so there's some broken pieces of pottery I'm trying to figure out the best way to put these outside of where I'm looking without hurting anyone that was a cool ashtray $6.99 I liked the glass here's a little I don't know jewelry box trinket box it had peacocks on the front and I believe it was it said it was $9.99. There was some discoloring on the front for myself. Here is an antler napkin holder, I believe. It looked like it came from a place like Hobby Lobby, some place that mass produced it. $4.99 for this little Coliseum paperweight. That was cute. And looking back at it, I probably should have picked that up. It was vintage. <laughs> I thought that mask was funny. Didn't have a price on it. Like I said, at Carm, you just transition from one color to the next. And now we are in the pink section. I'm looking at this candle for me. I think it's a lavender scented. A lot of this stuff has been here since the last time I came. I didn't really know what I was looking at at the moment. I just liked the hobnail look of it. I thought it was interesting and unique. And then I start to realize that it's a cream and sugar dish. So I decided to put them in the cart. I use Google Lens to identify them. They're actually Fenton uh, pink milk glass hobnail cream and sugar dishes i run some comps on ebay there are only three listed and none sold but i do feel like the ones that are listed are really high dollar and i feel like even if i can't sell them on ebay i can definitely sell them on etsy Etsy's more of a market for that for me at least um, so i'm really excited about this find i think that might be one of the first truly unique Fenton pieces that I've found in the wild at a thrift store. Okay, now we are in the coffee cup aisle and I am just perusing to see what we can find. I have had some luck. A few weeks back I picked up two clear Starbucks coffee cups that had gold Starbucks writing on them and they actually sell for about $28 a piece and I ended up getting them as a set for $5.99 I think and I just sold one of those this week. I'm putting these owl mugs in the cart. They're $5.99 for the set and I feel like I could flip those for an easy $25. Bucks. They didn't have any markings or anything on them but just the character alone. This was interesting. I've never seen a cup like this. It says Avon mug on it, $5.99. And I couldn't tell if you could actually remove the mug or not. It didn't seem like you could. 
seemed like it was stuck in there. And I'm wondering, how would you wash that? But the face of it and just how neat and interesting it was, I thought about picking it up. I was really hoping there was a set of them. So I end up leaving it behind, but that is the first time I've ever seen anything like that. I thought that was really cool. Here's some milk glasses. This one is a milk glass coffee cup from Myrtle Beach. And I find another one sitting behind it that is a milk glass world's greatest mom cup that I thought was cool even for myself, but who buys themselves a world's greatest mom cup? <laughs> Maybe I do. Um, but I have bought those in the past as singles, and even if they're really neat, they still take a long time to sell, and not generally for very much money, so I leave both of those behind. Okay, so pretty successful trip, I would say, to Calm. Let's see if I can do this camera. We got some really good stuff that I'm excited about, and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so, these were a score. These might be the score of the day. I'm hopeful, if not um, eBay, then Etsy for sure. Uh, I picked these two little pink glass dishes up. I thought they were really cute. Be cute for like boho shelf decor. I got these two owl mugs uh, for $5.99 for the set. I thought they were super cute. I liked that there was two of them and I think I can flip those for probably 25 bucks. I did end up getting this Corel set, the Fruit 2. There were no comps or listings that I could find for the glasses on eBay. But for $5.99, I thought I could take a chance since it's new old stock. Um, I did have the lady at the register open it up to make sure none of the glasses were chipped even though it's new in box um, and the the unfortunately the packing um, tape tore the packaging but I still think I can I can make it work this is I've never heard of this brand patience Brewster but this comp for the dashaway prancer I paid $8.99 for it I did check and make sure it wasn't broken and they sell the comps on those, I think 45 to 60 bucks. So that's good. I'm obsessed with this Picasso print, mainly because of this frame. It's not got glass on it, but this frame is everything. I love it. Um, and same on these two prints, these old ships, um, the printing or the, uh, matting on this is just amazing. I paid $10 a piece for these. I don't know what I can sell them for, but I'm just absolutely obsessed with the look of them. And it was the same for this guy. I paid $7.99 for him. I'm going to have to run comps on the artist. I wasn't able to find anything on that. And then I didn't want to unwrap these, but I did end up getting those Pier 1, the platter with the two plates, because the comps on that were really great. So, all in all, we did a great job, and we got some really good stuff. So, thanks for coming along.